Welcome back to Vegas here for the 2022 Mountain West Football Media Days. I'm Bridget Howard and I am now joined by UNLV head coach Marcus Arroyo. Coach, great to see you. How are things going for you today? Good. Good day. Awesome. Yeah, you got a lot of talking to do. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on. It's an exciting time for the conference and, and our team. Absolutely. Well, you're heading into year three now with the Rebels. What's different for you this year? How are you feeling? Feel good. It's it's exciting to get into training camp number two. Um, last year was our full full season, uh, first season of together as a training camp and spring ball, and to be able to build the roster up and build off last year. Uh, there's a ton of ton of growth for us to make and have made uh, in the short time. So it's exciting to get it, to get it going. Cameron Friel had a big season last year at quarterback, was named Mountain West Freshman of the Year, but he's going to have a little bit of competition, it seems, this year with a five-star recruit in Tennessee transfer Harrison Bailey joining the program. What has that competition been like between those two so far? Well, I mean, we got Cameron uh, Friel and obviously Doug Brumfield both back. Both had action last year. Uh, Doug got her injured, but both uh, proved to have some some traits that we think we can make a really successful program to build around. I think then you infuse uh, Harrison into the mix, um, which came in in spring and did a really nice job. Uh, a ball junkie on that room in itself is just uh, really exciting. It's one of the best one of the best groups collectively I think that that I've had in a while. What was attractive about him as a player that made you want him to come to UNLV? Well, I mean, he's a he's a quarterback guy. I mean, he's got he he likes the game. Um, he likes it on, in all aspects of it. He likes to study the game. Uh, he works really well um, with the group. Um, he's a good leader. Obviously, he's got traits that that go you know hand in hand with being a successful quarterback and throw the ball and being able to do certain things on the field. But I think his ability to want to be really really good, his competitiveness, um, and his overall just quarterback mentality is really something that sticks out when you meet him. The D-line returns four starters this year. How have you seen them grow together this offseason, you know, to really be ready for this year? Yeah, I mean, the, the defensive side of the ball, we've got a new defensive coordinator as well, Coach Hayward. He's done a really nice job in spring coming in and, and building the defense around those guys. Um, those guys all had uh, significant playing time last year, and I think, again, going into training camp number two, these guys have got a chance to feel more confident and player-led, and I think that's a really important aspect of us and our growth. You lose running back two-time All-Mountain West first-team player Charles Williams, but who are the likely candidates to really step into that role and be give you big production in that position? Yeah, it's going to be by committee right now. I mean, we're going to some guys going to have to prove themselves as we get into training camp and into fall. Um, losing Charles is a is a big piece of of what we've got to be able to uh, overcome. And I think that between Courtney's and Chad and Javon and Aiden Robbins and some of the guys we've we've got in the stable, those guys by committee will be exciting opportunity in in, in, in training camp to uh, to see who who really shines. Well, coach, thank you so much for taking the time for us today. Great to see you, and good luck this season. Thanks. Appreciate it.